In today's video on how to use Google Keyword Planner 2024, I'm going to give you the new and fastest way to find the best keywords inside the Keyword Planner tool. Later on, I will also show you a powerful feature inside Google Keyword Planner that lets you predict the future and see how many conversions you will get from the keywords you select. And I'm also going to teach you why you should totally ignore the CPC and competition columns in Keyword Planner and what you should do instead. Let's dive in. Here we are inside a Google Ads account. To find the Keyword Planner tool, click on Tools and Settings, then under the Planning area, then click Keyword Planner. From here, click on Discover New Keywords. On this screen here, there is an option here to get Google to scan your website and come up with suggestions based off of it. In most cases though, I find that the results from this are not good. It misses out a lot of potentially good keywords. So don't use this. Instead, you should start with keywords and start plugging in some of your seed keywords. When plugging in seed keywords, start out with two or three off the top of your head. And to generate the ideas, just think, what would I type into Google if I was looking for my product or service? Okay, let's put in an example here and I'm going to pretend I'm advertising a store that sells trophies and plaques. So my seed keyword ideas are going to be trophies and plaques. Make sure the language and location settings here are correct and then click the button here. We will now get a list of keywords. Before we start working with the list, I like to check this area up here for any additional seed keyword ideas that look good. If anything looks good, simply click it to add it to your seeds and then click get results. Now we can review our list. I normally like to boost it up to see 50 or 100 items at a time. 10 is just too few. There are these filters you can use on the left that help you cut out some of the irrelevant keywords. For example, in this case, maybe I want to get rid of keywords including brand names, which I can do like this. Another useful thing, if you are already advertising in Google Ads, is to use a filter to get rid of any keywords that are already in your account like this. Another filter that is sometimes handy is a volume filter. For example, in this case, maybe I'm not interested in keywords with less than 100 searches per month. So I can click add filter, average monthly searches, greater than or equal to 100. Do not bother looking at the competition and CPC columns for how much you will need to bid. This is not a good way to gauge whether you can compete in Google Ads. These columns are kind of trash and CPCs don't really matter. What really matters is who else is advertising and how does your business compare to theirs? Do you think you can get a similar or better conversion rate compared to them? Do you think you can get a similar or better value per customer compared to them? If the answer is yes, then you can definitely compete in Google Ads regardless of what the CPC or competition columns in here say. Let's do a quick example. Take Memorial plaques. If I want to advertise on this keyword, I would type it into Google. Then I would take a look at the websites for the people who are currently advertising in Google Ads. I would look at their website, products and prices, and I would think to myself, is my website in the same league as the others who are already advertising? If yes, then I would get stuck into Google Ads. Back to Keyword Planner. And what you want to do next is start scrolling down this list. For any keyword that looks relevant enough and has a decent number of searches per month, click the tick box, then click to add the keywords to your plan. Go all the way down the list and try to get all the way to the end, ticking and adding every relevant keyword. Another tip here is that if you see a keyword that you want to explore more, note it down for later. When you have finished processing this list of keyword ideas, plug that keyword into the seed keyword area. Then you can generate a new list of ideas to hunt through. When you've finished finding new keyword ideas, you can then do a forecast right here. I recommend setting the bid strategy to manual CPC. You can also input here what you think your conversion rate will be. And if you're an e-commerce advertiser, you can also input what you think the AOV is going to be. In this case, I'm running this in an existing ad account. So the conversion rate and AOV is here. But if you're in a fresh account, you might need to click over here and find a plus button that would be over here somewhere that says something like add conversion metrics, something like that. 
After you have added conversion metrics, Google Keyword Planner tool will predict for you how many conversions and how much spend you could do per month on the keywords you selected. You can experiment with different bid levels and see what kind of spend and results you could expect to get at that spend level. Do take these results with a grain of salt. They tend to be quite optimistic, but that said, this step is useful to know if you got enough keywords or not. Let's say I was planning on trying to spend 10k per month on ads, but the keywords I added were only forecast to be able to spend 500 bucks per month. If I saw that in the forecast tool, I would know to go back to the keyword planner and do more research to grab more keywords. When you're happy with your forecast and keyword list, click the button here to download them to your spreadsheet software of choice. The next step would be to organize these keywords into ad groups and campaigns within that spreadsheet, then upload them to Google Ads. But that there would be a topic for a different video. Now that you've built out your keywords list, you are going to need to know how to set up a Google search ads campaign quickly and efficiently. So check out this video right here in which I cover this exact topic. This is another super straightforward step-by-step -step video that's going to show you how to set up a campaign the proper way. If you haven't already, be sure to give me a subscribe so you will know when the next video is coming out. See you on the next one.